Gotta think I'm protect I'm well protected from red shells. <laughs> That's about it. Okay, and we're back. Hopefully the uh, mic levels are a little bit better. Didn't realize that the uh, mic levels were actually much lower than what they should have been. <laughs> Not sure how that happened. It is, in, it is present indeed. Yeah, we'll just pretend I didn't... Well, we'll just pretend I didn't actually get a gold trophy on this, because I played this before just for testing. Mainly to make sure it wouldn't lag too much when uh, building the shader cache. No, I didn't burn out, but... How the hell do I use items? Oh. Yeah. Never, I haven't really played much of Mario Kart 8, so I don't know the controls too much. No. That was literally the worst possible thing. Oh no, not a blue shell. <laughs> Unfortunately, those are not dodgeable. An eight. Nintendo made sure of that. Mm. Coins are important because they, they added them, I believe it was in seven. Well, the mechanics specifically, uh, how many coins you have determines how much extra speed your, uh, your cart or bike can get. So the lower it is, the, obviously the lower the amount of speed I can get. For the class, anyway. And welcome to the chat, Miss PMG. I kind of handles like crap. <laughs> it's different than, uh, definitely different than I'm, uh, how it feels in Double Dash. I could snake the hell out of that. <laughs> Yeah, they also changed uh, the amount of points uh, for each place. So, uh, first place is actually 15 points. Can't remember for certain if that was how it was in 7. It may have been introduced specifically in 8. I honestly don't know. It's been a long time since I played seven but I used to play the hell out of it back in the day I remember uh, I remember we had always uh, abuse uh, certain shortcuts I'm using the term loosely because 
Uh, there was one stage. Every, everyone did it who knew about it. Uh, you can abuse the checkpoint system a little bit. <laughs> uh, by using a mushroom to boost to touch a wall, which would trick the game into thinking you're actually at a different spot in the map. And uh, skip like over half the map. Obviously, when we did that on, on, on live, online play, it was pretty fun, but... Nintendo, naturally, they patched that. <laughs> so that people couldn't abuse it. It wasn't actually a whole lot of uh, abuse in 7 like that. I think that was probably one of the worst defenders. Yeah, they actually have uh, three uh, three forms of mini turbo in eight. The purple being the uh, the highest, so you have to do it multiple times. If you want the uh, max boost Ver versus just the traditional blue, which was present in double dash. Even that, though, is not, not terrible by any means. You just need a quick one, it works. Aw, uh, nothing I can do to get out of this. <laughs> they actually made, uh, Nintendo obviously patched it and made sure that people couldn't dodge blue shells. In 8. <laughs> I think they actually may have done it and started in 7. But again, I haven't played 7 in forever. To be fair, I couldn't even sh uh, blue shell dodge back then. Due to how uh, finicky it is. I was honestly surprised uh, how many I got during my streams. I've never, ever in my life, ever gotten that many blue shell dodges. <laughs> That's like all of them. In those streams, pretty much. Along with the red shell dodges, too. Okay, cool. I got the boost, finally. Since I am emulating this, I do have all the DLC installed. So I have access to every uh, racetrack. I have no idea how long this will take me to beat. It should be quite a bit longer than uh, than Double Dash. Tracks are already quite a bit bigger, for one. But uh, more importantly, there's 200 CC. The only one exists. It only exists in eight at the moment. Until nine comes out, whenever that happens. Now, in Nintendo, it'll probably be on the Switch 2 or whatever they call the Switch 2 in the end. Oh, nice triple banana. Won't protect me from a blue, but it will protect me from the stray red that may come my way. Oh, I didn't notice the mushroom until I was too late. Pretty bad positioning. 
Oh, there's the blue shells. Not gonna jinx it, but at the moment, the AI isn't going crazy <laughs> with uh, blue shells and whatnot. It is only 50 CC though, so the AI should be pretty tame. Even if that was the third blue shell in that race, <laughs> at least it was after the finish line. Yeah, there's a middle path you can take, but I can't take it just yet. I think it's the second lap it unlocks. So obviously there's a uh, bunch of thwomps. I am SPNG. Those are the thwomps I was talking about. They weren't really making the sound effect, but they have. They do. That's the thing that makes the sound effect whenever Pyle swears. <laughs> I joked about. That seemed fair. Land on the ground, don't have a red shell indicator, immediately get smacked by the red shell. Gotta thread that needle, baby. Blue shell. At least I got one of the coins back. Item blo uh, item boxes also work a bit differently than they did in Double Dash. So if you just collect two singles, uh, it'll function like a double. So I can get up to the max of two items. Obviously, if I hit a double, then I just automatically get two. Drove right, right in the middle of them. Not that I needed them because I was already past the finish line, but it's cool seeing your character hit something valuable. And uh, I think it was specifically at seven when this started, uh, Cart customization became a thing, and it does actually matter. As it uh, affects the, the varying stats. Which I'll pull up in a second. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of stats on the right. So, depending on what I put on, certain things get lowered or increased. 
uh, <laughs> the ancient tires. Master Cycle Zero. Shriedle. <laughs> oh, there's an F Zero inspired car. At least I think that's what it is. The paint scheme is anyway. Yeah, I'll try the the Shriedle. The stats I think are similar to the bike, minus a little bit of acceleration or handling. Yeah, it's a little bit less. It's one tick less handling and uh, acceleration. Okay, now that now that we're on in a cup, I actually haven't got uh, gold on before. <laughs> I already did testing a couple months prior to make sure the game would actually kind of play well. The last thing I want is a bunch of uh, stutter from the game trying to cache all the data. Really enjoying the ja the jazzy feel of this music. Kind of feels uh, Mega Man Zero esque, and the st and like the not so much the uh, the I guess it it's the it's the genre sla slash sound. It's not quite the same, but it's got a similar vibe. Ah! Come on. Assholes. <laughs> Goddamn lightning. Should have known that was going to happen. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't it? <laughs> Holy hell, those, those purple turbos go on for quite a bit. That's kind of cool. When you get a mushroom, the uh, back part of the cart uh, props up, kind of like how a beetle would when it tries to spread its wings. I guess it does there too when the wheel the wheels come up. Okay, 
Yeah, it's, I guess that's one way to take it. It's probably kind of a shortcut. Got him. Oh no, I gotta watch out for a freaking train car. Or sorry, not a train car, a rail car. <laughs> hey pile, just don't be like Michael, right? And try to try to hold on to it while holding an ice and then what did he have in his hand? A fudge sickle or something? And he lets go of it and it falls down the freaking massive hill when they're in uh, San Francisco. Friggin' Marcus thinks there's a the image is an orchid, but it's actually something else entirely that I'm not allowed to say on stream. He had some type of dessert on 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 the stick. I know that much. Cuz he tries to taunt young with it. <laughs> That's why he falls. My god, how long is that lightning gonna last? Aw, <laughs> oh, man. No! Of course, final lap, it's gotta start trolling me. Cycles off due to my bad driving. Yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to do this, but at some point I probably will be doing most, if not all, of the Kingdom Hearts series. It's pretty big, but I do have most most of them on, on Epic. Unfortunately, it's an Epic Games exclusive, but it still plays well, so I'm willing to overlook that fact. And it's better than nothing, because that's it looks pretty damn good. And can actually run at over. I think it just has unlimited once you get past 60, but maybe it has a 120. I can't remember. I know it's 30. I think it's 30, 60, 120, and then unlimited. Which would make sense because most of them were PS2 titles, so. Pretty sure you could crank the FPS on that and be good. But if I do that, it'll probably be in uh, kind of like spurts, because the games are decently long. Because they're obviously uh, RPGs, so. I 
I probably will be doing them in uh, release order rather than chronological order. <laughs> Although I could realistically do... Actually, I think... I don't know if I'd be able to beat the one because for some reason, and they, they did this even on the PS4 uh, versions of the final mixes for everything, uh, the final chapter for Birth by Sleep which is literally just like a couple boss fights once you've beaten in, uh, the game with all three characters uh, is on a separate release. <laughs> and they kept that in uh, the epic release. I was like, why? <laughs> it was stupid in the first place. There might be a little bit more, but the whole point is like, there's not a whole lot left of the game after you beat it with the three characters. And yes, you have to beat the game three times, basically. <laughs> Different stories, but, you know, you're playing the game three times. Is that like a deal thing right now, or are you just... I say, because that, that's, that's a hell of a deal for a sub. <laughs> I mean, hell, most subs, even if they're not the most expensive ones, almost cost that much. Hey, it's got a purple. Ew. Why do shells get to follow me? Well, one thing's for sure. They uh, they definitely improved the uh, tracking of red shells. <laughs> they will follow me even, even in the air. They don't have wings, though. That's what I don't get. <laughs> like, I could understand, uh... Uh, Blue Shell, obviously, because it has wings. They could easily fly. That makes a little more sense, yeah. I was about to say, I'm like, it's way too cheap for a foot long. That makes more sense. I mean, either way, that's... That's still pretty damn good. If you literally wanted everything. At least with the, cur the way current prices are. Everything's just hyperinflated. Every everyone's just Time Warner Cable. Oh. Yeah, I'm mm, sorry. Yeah, we're the only ones around. I guess you're just going to have to wait. Except, you're, except in this case, you just have to deal with it. I mean, that's the whole joke. You just have to deal with it. But... Nope. That is true. That, that would be a pretty thick six, six inch sub. Oh, if Pyle, have, Pyle and I have learned anything in life. Now, not all women are like this. <laughs> but a large chunk are. 
if they can find something to complain about, they will. I mean, obviously this is food, but you could apply that to, a, to the same idea. People always find something to complain about. And obviously it's not limited to just women. Anyone, anyone can do it. Okay, let's go see what I unlocked for get, getting 120 coins. actually stack. Yeah, kind of bad. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Go finish that pie, man. Yeah, I was a little off on the timing. Get out of here, Dry Bowser. Oh, that's pretty cool. You, you get carried by the uh, updraft of the plane. Yeah, what what D is it uh, again? Piles at forty. That's smell of vision. I mean that can't you can't give that to Miss PMG, but maybe she could smell it. <laughs> and thank you. Just don't pretend it's 5D and, and think, oh, the fire effects look really realistic. And m meanwhile, the theater is actually on fire. <laughs> I think that happened somewhere. People were doing something akin to 5D and thought it was just like visual effects, like looking hyper realistic. It's like, no, the, the, the theater was actually on fire. <laughs> and it was full of people. I don't know if anyone actually got, you know, killed or anything, but that's the problem when things start bordering uh, that level of realism.
Okay, I guess we're starting underwater. It makes sense. Everybody's favorite dolphin from uh, SMW. Quote unquote, favorite dolphin. <laughs> oh man, I didn't realize there was coins there. Jesus. Goddamn red shells, man. Things are ruthless. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the eel from uh, Super Mario 64. <laughs> Get over here. It truly is a slippery eel. Couldn't catch it to save my goddamn life. Hey, Pyle, I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase before, but an, e an eel's like a good woman. If you try to force them down, they'll just go away. Not necessarily implied to you, but... <laughs> it's a true statement nonetheless. Oh, I just missed the coin. Ironically, that's one of the many things I learned from anime. <laughs> uh. It was one of the weird things that happened in uh, Samurai Champloo. <laughs> uh, Gene, Gene, Gene tries to freaking... I can't remember what he's trying to do. I think they're trying to make money because they were broke. So he tries to... Uh, he tries his hand at, uh, cooking, uh, eel. Problem is, god damn it, uh, he doesn't know how to actually catch the eel when they're in the water. <laughs> so there's, I mean, one, they actually are slippery, like, le legitimately, but, uh, they just keep moving because they're in the water. <laughs> they don't like being grabbed. I mean, yeah, that is true. Depending on the woman, it determines if it's worth it or not, but... That's the thing with life. Not everything, but a lot of things are subjective. In the eyes of the beholder. Ah! There's also this weird delay when you gotta pull out your items. It's not like Double Dash, where it's like... Pretty much immediate, which I liked. <sighs> Not sure where the shell went. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> it's funny when I was landing on the, uh, the piano style keys, it, uh, God damn, what did it remind me of? I'll have to think about it for a sec. I lost my train of thought. Reminds me of something. Oh, 
Tony Hawk. That's what it reminds me of. When you try to go for the combo letters, they had random, they had additional sound effects for each letter you collected while in the combo. Well, on the plus side, at least it was before I got I got into flight. That would have sucked. <laughs> so I would have lost six coins for that. Three for the lightning, and then three for getting pulled out by the uh, Lakitu. Oh, no. Blue shell. Yeah, that's why blue shells are unavoidable un unavoidable now. They literally pop right above you. Unlike Double Dash, where they uh, flew along the ground like the red shells did, and then charged at the player. Nice. Got to, not sure where I got the hit, but I'll take it. Oh god, more blue shells. <laughs> blue shell and a lightning. Well, I wouldn't say the air is cracked out yet, but... Start starting to get a little bit there. Wonder if I can get a better uh, a better score than Sean White <laughs> going through this uh, this awesome uh, snow filled track. Thought it was a coin for some reason. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, okay. So I can stay in flight, or if I get knocked down, at least I don't get pulled out. Hey, Pyle, does the, the, the warehouse design of that area I was just in kind of remind you of the chemical plant from Sonic? That's what it reminded me of. Just missing the bang. It's just missing the banging theme, though. That'd be so awesome if it was in that. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's something they added in uh, Mario Kart Wii.
it literally was designed to be like a a snowboard slash uh, ski ski event, like at the Olympics and whatnot. I have to see how many uh, cups there are. There's quite a bit. Unless that's just... Oh god, that is counting those. Acceleration's kind of eh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is going to take quite a bit of time. E six. There's twelve cups per per CC class, and there's four. Fifty, a hundred, one hundred and fifty, and then two hundred. Oh my god! Find it funny, you got regular Bowser and then you have dry Bowser. <laughs> Oh god, there's fake lightning. I call it fake because it's obviously not the uh, actual item, but still would likely have a similar effect. If not, it would just take three coins away from me. I think I updated my Twitch schedule for three days or something. Yeah, I'm going to need more than that. Even with decent amount, uh, a decent amount being played each day, that's still going to be a lot. <laughs> I just realized that's a giant uh, question block. Perfect placement for the mushroom. That's going in a short. <laughs> Bounced in the air? Oh, never mind. Sorry, this red's gonna come up and bite you in the butt. Okay, so lightning, I mean, it'll probably hurt me. It does. <sighs> but it also takes out the uh, pads by depowering them. I don't remember how many uh, cups were in seven. I know there was more than the four or, or so, which are typically in Mario Kart games, but 
No, there wasn't friggin' 12. I can tell you that much. <laughs> That's like dry drive ruins or uh, desert themed uh, stage. Definitely like the, the theming of the music though, it's nice. Oh no, it's a it's a dry piranha plant. Now here's all the here's my fellow dry bones. It's a good thing I didn't get boned. Oh, that's a banana, not a coin. Hey, Miss PMG, are you a fan of uh, Disney characters? Like, anything Disney-related? I feel like that's kind of a stupid question, but... Oh crap. Giant stone Bowser statue that moves. And Bowser's got a banging theme. Okay, I chose the right side. A damn boost. <laughs> I honestly don't know why red shells aren't just rebranded uh, re uh, blue shells at this point. If they're able to fly that far to track me, they might as well have wings on them. Unless they do and I just can't see them. Because the wings go away after they land on the ground. Because <laughs> I mean, there are red paratroopers. So. I guess there's that. Oh!
Got the... Got the jump there. Whoever was composing the OST for Mario Kart 8 was having a heyday. <laughs> really enjoying that the metal or rock style. This one's more metal, obviously. Kind of reminds me of Mega Man X because that was quite heavy on the the metal which i really liked Add four to the meowter. <clears throat> oh god, I just realized what stage it was. <laughs> Everybody's favorite stage. Music's a banger, though. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm hearing a blue shell or something. Yep. Got space toads over there and space suits. Don't, don't really recall uh, toads ever being in astronaut suits. Just don't let them find Mike, all right? Oh, wait, I forgot. That's astrologers. He just thinks he's dealt with that many astronomers, or, or sorry, astronauts.
Weird looking cart. Add four more. Oh, nice. There's an F-Zero inspired stage. Ironically, it's a mute city, which is the main stage in the game. You forgot to say we're we're over ninety percent of the way there to nine uh the one thousand. <laughs> this stage should look familiar. A little bit of a redesign, but I think that was the biggest difference on the track so far, aside from the aesthetic. I guess there's also that too, background. Wasn't getting away from that blue shell. Holy hell, they got three, they got people with three stars on the field there. How many stars do you need to give, man? Lots of stars, indeed. Oh yeah, I asked you a question earlier, Miss PMG. I asked if you liked uh, anything Disney related. I forgot to check if you're still in the chat. <laughs> yeah, like I said earlier at the beginning of the stream, you I mean, you're already here, but uh, when I get to the Kingdom Hearts games, you'll really enjoy those. All the worlds are uh, Disney related worlds and uh, you get to play with Donald and Goofy now you don't get to play as them like ever but uh, they are characters that you'll deal with on a regular basis
Yeah, e basically each game gets uh, expansively bigger, obviously. With three being the biggest. There are a couple... Wor uh, they're, they're obviously, they're referred to as worlds, like the, the worlds in which the stories would be in. But, uh... Not a whole lot of them get reused, so almost every single game has a new uh, Disney IP. I'm trying to remember all the ones in one. Traverse, ta uh, Traverse Towns uh, is a thing specific to the game. Uh, uh, there's Atlantica from Little Mermaid. Uh, Halloween Town or uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Agrabah for Aladdin. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Hollow Bastion, which is uh, Beauty and the Beast. Granted, you don't see. No, you don't. You don't see Belle in the first game, but you see the Beast. Uh, Belle makes an appearance in the second one as a more uh, major supporting character when you're in uh, the Beast's world. What else is there? Uh, oh, Pinocchio. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Peter Pan. I had to think about it. I was about to say Neverland. I mean, that's the world in which the story's in. Uh, Tarzan. That's it. Uh, Olympus Coliseum, which focuses on uh, Hercules. I think. I think it's about it for everyone in Kingdom Hearts 1. And Mickey obviously makes brief appearances. He's not a he's not a major character in any of them. He doesn't have a whole lot of screen time in one. He has a bit more in two. Uh, and obviously when you go to the uh, Disney Castle Worlds, which is obviously Mickey's Castle, uh, you'll see Minnie and Minnie and everyone else. Yeah, and uh, ironically, when people speed run uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 specifically, because obviously that has uh, the Di the Disney Castle World in it, uh, there's a section where you have to uh, protect Minnie uh, to get to a door. So you have to deal with a bunch of enemies called the Heartless, which are the main enemies in the game. The games. Uh, they 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 effectively refer to the section as push the mouse <laughs> because uh, there's a. It's not really a quirk because obviously all of their characters have collision so they can interact with each other. Uh, you can actually just kind of push Mini forward <laughs> to help uh, speed up the process and not have to do as much fighting. Obviously when I'm doing it I'll be I'll be fighting the Heartless and whatnot. That's what speedrunners do, because obviously they, they don't want to fight if they don't have to. Oh, you'll see Tinkerbell in, uh, in Kingdom Hearts 1. I don't think uh, there's any more Peter Pan related stuff after that. Might be in Birth by Sleep. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. I remember that now. <laughs> I'm starting to get flat. I'm starting to get a little bit of a PTSD flashback from back then. At the end of uh, the world in Birth by Sleep, it's like an early version of Neverland compared to Kingdom Hearts 1. And uh, 
at the end you have a really nasty boss fight. Obviously when I was a kid, I didn't grind or get enough levels usually. So I would often be under leveled and not be able to do enough damage. And the boss kind of sucks. <laughs> I can deal with them now pretty easily. But <laughs> obviously as a kid, it's a lot harder. Oh, nice, a somewhat jazzy inspired uh, big blue theme for the F-Zero stage, nice. I'm trying to remember what they added in two specifically for new worlds. Uh, I know Port Royal is one of them. So Pirates of the Caribbean, obviously. Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't think of how Jack's supposed to talk. So I can't do an impersonation. My one coworker actually does a pretty good, uh, pretty good job of that. Actually, even has the kind of you know quirky hands, man, man, mannerisms that Johnny Depp does when he plays Jack. <laughs> uh, I know Lion King's uh one of them. So I'll run into Simba and whatnot. I'm trying to actually remember all the worlds and okay, there's quite because two is quite a bit bigger than one. Oh, sp space paranoids, which is uh, from the movie Tron, if you're familiar with that. Pretty sure Pyle at least knows about it if he hasn't seen it. I feel like he has. Oh, I, oh yeah, T Timeless River, which is the second half of Disney Castle. So when you're in that world, it's all black and white. And all of the characters in there are the original Disney characters. So like Mickey looks how he was when he was originally drawn as like a cartoon. And you got Steamboat, you got Steamboat Pete and everyone there. I think what's on the other half. Oh, M Mulan's world, the land of dragons. I was trying to remember, like, how the hell could I forget about uh, Mul Land of Dragons? Because I'm pretty sure the uh, Mulan's dragon is voiced by Eddie Murphy. My memory serves me correctly. It sounds a lot like him if it isn't. But I'm pretty sure it is. Because every time he talks, it reminds me of Donkey. It's, it's my swamp donkey.
Uh, define cool dragon a uh, dragon game. Do you mean like dra the Dragon Quest series? I'm just trying to think, cause like I've seen quite a few games where there's dragons in it, <laughs> but there's not a lot with uh, dragon actually in the name though. So there's a high chance it's that. Unless we're talking about Disney stuff still. Oh, I just realized that I'm pretty sure this is Baby Park. <laughs> probably should have probably should have looked at the title. Yeah, it is. Them blue shells, man. Oh, no, not freaking bullet bills. <laughs> the hell out of there. And what's with the bullet bills? Give me that mushroom. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is there so much crap on screen? Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember Spyro. I actually do, uh, I have the, uh, re, uh, Reignited, which is, uh, remasters of the original three games. I actually 100% at all three on, uh, my Xbox One, because that's originally how it, uh, came out. Although it may have came out on Steam at the same time, but my graphics card wasn't as good as it is now, so. I didn't, I didn't get it until much later. And or it when it came out it was still like 80 bucks and I'm like I don't want to pay 80 bucks <laughs> even if it is for three really good remasters I think I got it much later and I only paid like 40 or something for the trilogy so yeah I'll have to get that oh chain jump I'll have to get that uh, scene set up too to stream at some point. And these chain chomps. A pile. Nobody, nobody rages like Ripto. He's probably lurking in the background. <laughs> if he if he if he actually legitimately hasn't fallen asleep, he's probably uh, AFKing on RuneScape. <laughs> it's usually where he is. Yeah, every, everybody's favorite cherry chase and dot muncher. <laughs> I think that was a little bit more, uh, and some of the later ones, the cherries. Actually, no, I forgot there were cherries in the, uh, the original. Ironically, uh, we got it, it now, uh, I think it was for my nephew, uh, now, it's not like an actual arcade cabinet, but it's just like one of those like really small ones you could put in your hand. Uh, but it had Pac-Man on it, and so we played that a little bit today. I only got 60,000 points, but I made it through the first uh, cycle. Oh! Okay. 
good to know. Those things uh, can actually fend off blue shells. My guess is I have to time it somewhat correctly. I jokingly said to one of my older nephews, because the youngest one is the one who got the Pac-Man, I, I said, is it good? Now go for a million points, which is basically a perfect score. I knew he wasn't going to get it. <laughs> I don't even think... I don't, I'd say he hasn't played Pac-Man before, but I can't see him really playing Pac-Man. And I know my youngest nephew sure as hell wouldn't. Like a, like a giant like pack like just like a statue or like inflatable thing or like a giant like Pac-Man arcade thing. Every friggin' time, man. I was wondering who was making the sounds. It's the Shy Guys. Let's go. <laughs> Triple boost. Okay. I don't think I've been there, but yeah, I know what, I know what, what you're talking about. Yeah. Nothing to fend off the blue shell today. Okay, one more race, and then that cup will be done. I think that'll be half. That should be the sixth. No. Oh. Animal Crossing style. Uh, course. Co coins are money bags. Which I assume are is the, the model that's in the games. I haven't really played much of that Animal Crossing. Yeah, that's an angry miner.
Yeah, it's definitely something to consider for, consider for sure. Next next time, one of us, uh, I I have to swing by London. I'll I'll pull him along like I normally do. Make a day out of it. I didn't even realize there was a stream in back there. It's like, why the hell am I getting pulled? It's like, oh, I'm getting pulled by the current. Goddamn noble currents, man. Don't want to know what those fruit are going to do. Don't mind if I do. I hate that those things can hit me in the air. Huh. Oh, that's why I didn't notice it the last time. Because I was big and my boot, uh, uh, my boost was able to go through most of the, the water. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a little. That's literally where uh, Pyle and I went to see uh, Randy from Trailer Park Boys. It's not a super big one, obviously, but you know, it's got it's got bowling and it's got some arcade stuff. Unfortunately, uh, it's like probably most arcades these days. They don't function on quarters. They function on loonies of all things. It's like really. At least for the arcade stuff, anyway. I doubt that's going to change because they just got new ownership a little bit before Pyle and I went to see Randy. So I obviously. <laughs> oh, laser tag would be really fun. I think I've only done laser tag a few times in my life. But it was fun every time I did get to do it, though. Oh, nice. I got them with the banana. Not sure who, but I got somebody with it. Oh, no. The cows are coming home for the night. Thank you, Mr. Mall. See a gold shroom and a bullet bell in the last place, people. Ah. It's like, oh no, 
person in first is right behind us. Better better get a gold shroom and uh, a bullet bill. Still gonna lap them. Jesus, I think I lapped everyone up to ninth place. I remember go karts and uh, bumper cars quite a bit. Ironically, after what happened to my last uh, Xbox One controller, I'm somewhat, uh, it's not PTSD, but like I have hesitation on where I stick my finger on the left bumper button. So I, I heavily used it so much, uh, the button actually stopped working. Every other single button would work though. Right bumper, all the triggers, all the face buttons, everything. <laughs> Just, uh, not not the left bumper. <laughs> I jokingly said uh, I played too much Azure Striker Gunvolts and I just mashed the hell out of the button. Because uh, LB is actually your dash in that. So I was spamming it a lot. Because the dash obviously is pretty short. I think it's only like a few seconds. So yeah, I'll be mashing it constantly just to keep max speed. Unless you're going over something, you know, like pits or whatnot. I mean, yeah, there, there was a lot of heavy usage, like, obviously that controller was quite a few years old, and I had put a lot of wear on it, but... The, the actual main fault is, uh, I tried to see if I could, like, tear down the controller. I kind of could, but... Um... Uh, the back of where the, the handles are, like, where the actual grips are... There's a bunch of clips, but those clip, those clips, oh my god. Like someone, it's like someone put them down, put them down with freaking gorilla tape. You can get them off a little bit, but you have to get enough of them off. And if uh, you don't get them all off without breaking it, <laughs> uh, like they do what most things do, like lids, they start to snap back. And it's like no, no. <laughs> uh, but I saw a video of it and. The, the uh, actual like assembly for where the but the bumpers are is so stupid. I'm like, well, no wonder it fails. <laughs> people people like joke about that in the uh, repair community. It's like, yeah, the controller is great, but the uh, bumper assembly is just absolute dog crap. <laughs> and when I saw it, I'm like, you know, I have to agree with them on that. It's basically a bunch of uh, thin plastic, and it hits uh, the bumpers at, at the very ends. There's a small piece of plastic, like a tab almost. That's what actually hits the uh, the uh, thing on the the controller that actually registers the input. So if that thing gets cracked from wear or you just drop it wrong. It can crack the thing and make the controller unusable. Or in my case, you just use it so much, the bumper just uh, gets worn out. 
To be fair, it actually is cracked. Like, I can hear it <laughs> when I used it. Like, you can literally hear the plastic, like, like, uh, it's not crunching, but you can, like, you can hear the sound of, like, the plastic kind of grinding. Like, it's cracked. And then I pressed my right bumper. This sounds like a bumper. Goddamn blue shell. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear that iconic hiss. Oh man, the AI is really getting... <laughs> really having a heyday with blue shells and lightning. I don't know if this is a. Uh... No, it's. I think this is a new, uh, cheap, cheap beach course. Because there was a couple in previous Mario Kart games, but I thought maybe it was the one from the Game Boy Advanced, but no. The whole map layout is different. Hey, see you later. Just a bad turn. How the hell do you get over there? Oh, that's how. Whoa, kill a wipeout, dude. It's tight. Blue shells, man. These are not as bad as uh, Double Dash. Double Dash was terrible for that. Especially on higher difficulties. <laughs> at least at the moment, they're not as punishing because the AI is pretty, pretty lax.
Mercedes inspired inspired car. Okay, depending on how I feel after this cup, I may cut the stream early. We'll see, though. I can only race for so long before it gets boring. I just realized this is Dry Dry Ruins from the GameCube. This is all, but this is different. Hey, avoid the massive pitfalls in the oasis. King King Tut and Koopa back there. I don't remember what the the name is. Uh, in uh, Paper Mario, because the original Paper Mario, there was a a Pharaoh like Koopa boss in Chapter Two. Ah! Goddamn pokies! He's like, here, have a poke on this. Oh, nice. You didn't even see that before. Oh, I think those actually come out of the sand. Nice. Got a purple. Don't mind if I do. God damn it. Eh. Freaking booze. Come on, beat it, get out of here. Come on, beat it, get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here. Come on, get out of here. 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 Would you like a scarf? You want to forget about the scarf, damn moth? You gotta talk. Oh god, we're in, su we're in Super Nintendo days here, Jesus. It's the original Mario Kart. The only thing missing is the, uh... The feather power up, which I think only had one appearance, and it was in the original, ironically. I don't think they ever made it an appearance after that. Which kind of made sense, because they didn't uh, really reuse the platform. Or, sorry, not platform, the higher ground. Damn. Which is the whole point of the feather. Oh, 
Oh my god. Not the best cornering, but not bad for it, considering I had all that speed from the mushroom. And I had to go wide to get it, so. Could have avoided that blue shell. Possibly. I forgot I had the banana, so I could have done that to uh, take with the red, and I might have just been able to cross the line before getting smacked by the blue. I think I'm protect I'm well protected from red shells. <laughs> That's about it. The blue shell coming.
Oh yeah, I remember the I remember this stage. <laughs> got a jam I got a jam and jungle japes theme. That was BS. Couldn't do a damn thing. Don't know if it's possible to get a... a small turbo boost off the flower or not. Maybe if I do it just before I get bom uh, bumped. Maybe. Yeah, timing doesn't look super tight, but I have to account for the bounce. Oh. As soon as I was landing, I'm like, yeah, now I'm gonna hit that. Blue shells. Come on. <laughs> Just get all my coins back and I lose them. This game really, <laughs> really likes to play with you sometimes. Jesus Christ. Mind if I do. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call call it early tonight as well. Been doing a lot of doing a lot of stuff in the background and 
spent a lot of time with my family, so a little more tired than I typically would be. Should be back with uh, more Mario Kart 8 tomorrow. If not, I'll be doing something regardless. As always, if you enjoy the content and you're not already following either my YouTube or my Twitch, feel free to drop a follow below to get notified when I go live or drop new content. And I'll see you in the next stream. All right. Bye, everyone.